don't tell Bungie or it might get nerfed. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so if you are a hunter main, you surely know about this. If not, where have you been? If you ain't a hunter main, this might be news to you. What I said at the start, ignore it. I'm 100% positive Bungie are aware of this, and if they were to nerf it, it would happen with Shadowkeep either way. The point of them nerfing many aspects of the game is in reason of trying to get people to switch up the way they play, and it's been like this since day one. They nerfed the most popular things, buff other things to switch up the meta and rotate the way the game plays out. It's smart as it kinda in a way keeps things fresh. So with Shadowkeep and moving forward from there on in, instant reload matters are basically being removed from the game. The Titans Rally Barricade, which at the moment instantly reloads your weapon as you can see on the screen now, but when Shadowkeep arrives it won't offer the same benefits. Instead, it just makes the reloading of your weapon much faster when you're standing behind the Rally Barricade. And this will be the exact same for the Warlock and the Lunification Rift combos. Your reload won't be instant like it is on screen now the way it is in game now, but instead you will just get a much faster reload buff. And like I said, this is being changed for the main reason of Bungie trying to switch up the way we play, and also force to leave the fact that the game is just way too easy at the moment, using strategies as such for maximum DPS and any given boss, and like I said in a video covering the news the other day on these buffs and nerfs and so forth, every activity in the game right now is just a walk in the park due to certain strategies. 99% of said strategies involve a way to instant reload your weapon. So what happens when Shadowkeep arrives and this isn't a possibility? Instant reload is taken away and we lose vital seconds reloading our weapons while playing off against a boss. Well guys, there is one other trick Bungie haven't mentioned and many other people just do not know about and it involves a hunter. Yes, the hunter also has an instant reload trick. But because of the fact it isn't anywhere near as viable as the other two classes, people forgot about it, or have never even been aware of it. Now I will state it only works for the character using this, it doesn't buff other players in your team. Ok so on the Hunter, Night Stalker Middle Tree paired with the sealed Ahamkara exotic gauntlets, this is the new instant reload meta. Ok so how does this work you are wondering, while the sealed Ahamkara grasps, their intrinsic is nightmare fuel, melee hits reload equipped weapon. Now this perk works with any melee attack including the smoke bomb melee ability. So if you are going up against a boss throwing your smoke grenade at them and doing damage with said smoke also reloads your weapon. And I believe this lasts roughly around 5 seconds which is enough time to empty out most grenade launcher clips. Now if you use a gambler's dodge with this dodging near an enemy then instantly restores your melee ability meaning you can throw another smoke bomb. Now if you stack those paragon mods on your armors too, by the time you've used one dodge, restored that melee, thrown that smoke, and that smoke has run out, with you shooting all possible ammo, your dodge is basically back, ready for you to use again and getting that melee smoke bomb ability back. Meaning this constant loop of dodging and throwing that smoke bomb melee ability means you can have an instant reload, just like what you get with the warlock and their lunification boots and their rifts and the titan rally barricade. Now like I said this will only work for said hunter using this, it will not work or buff any of your teammates. Now I ain't one for thoroughly testing out mods and how much they stack, but the last time I did check I'm pretty sure the paragon mod stacks up to 5. If this isn't a way anymore be sure to leave a comment down below so others are aware. But yeah guys a new reload meta, Hunter Master Class. Also for the folks out there stating all these changes with armor 2.0 that's actually incorrect. The armors we have now including the mods applied to them will still work alongside the armor 2.0 system. As confirmed by Bungie, check it out on screen now. Better destiny life. So popular question from all of the chat rooms that we're monitoring right now. Um, we're going to have all these new mods to pick from. What does this do to the old mods? Uh, so we're not actually going to deprecate any of the old mods. Okay. Uh, you can hang on to them. You can keep using them. You can keep using your pre-armor 2.0 armor as well. It won't burst sure. into flames or anything. Okay. Right? <laughs> okay. So it'll still work. Um, so this will work well into Shadow Keep people. 
And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.